Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Asad Yaqub and in this one video I'm going to tell you everything about report writing. Okay? There are four types of reports and I'm going to tell you about all four types but before I come closer to you I want to show you this beautiful thing. You can see we have come all the way over here and what I'm going to do it's going to be a sort of superstition. I'm going to throw this uh, stone, this pebble, in the river with a wish. And the wish is, may you all get your desired bench score in IELTS. I have another wish. May you all reach your destination country wherever you want to go to. Another wish. May you all live long. May you all be happy and may you all get your desires fulfilled and all that. The third wish. One wish for me. Oops. The bigger one. I've got one wish for me. May I live long, healthy, happy and may I serve you the way I'm serving you and even better. And may I visit foreign countries as well. This is my wish. All right, now I come closer over here. I'll be fine. So guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you about four types of graphics that we have in IELTS. Uh, it's all about academic IELTS candidates and we are going to learn about four graphics for IELTS uh, for report writing. Number one, most important one is graph with a trend whenever we have graph with a trend they give us the timeline on the timeline we have time it can be days of the week months of the year years and all that so we do have a very clear timeline if the years are from past tense you are going to use past if the years are like present to future or past present future then you're going to use tenses accordingly. On uh, x-axis, they give you the years and on y-axis, they give you the numbers and then the bars are about some commodities and all that. The method is same. You can write this type of report in three parts. Part one, introduction. Part two, overview. And part three, we've got that, uh, what we call uh, uh, your body of the report. And in body of the report, we have two paragraphs, mainly two paragraphs, okay? After this, I'm going to talk about the second one. That is called comparative graph. Now, comparative. For comparative, there are comparisons. And for that, you have to use comparative language. That's the language of comparisons. You have to compare. By the way, for graph with a trend, we use past tense or it can be present according to the years according to timeline your tenses will fluctuate but when you write a report on comparative graph you're going to use present tense mainly and by the way my videos are available where i have covered all the topic with some examples and all that right after this the third important type is what we call uh, process diagram now process diagrams are also important because in process diagram, they give you a process. Number one, for process diagram, you're going to use present simple tense. In local books, they call it present indefinite tense, right? We use present simple tense or present indefinite tense, active voice or passive voice, right? Okay, it's going to rain here. That's why I need to take it. So uh, in present simple tense, you can use active voice or you can use passive voice. Uh, in a uh, uh, graph uh, with, the with the process diagram. There is a process, that process can be how something is made or how something works. There are only two things, how something is made and how something works and we can make the process, uh, we can make right on that active voice, passive voice and all that. The best book which I recommend to you guys for academic candidates, that is IELTS Advantage Writing Skills. The first book and the best book, that is amazing. After this, the second book that I recommend for you, that is IELTS Journal, Writing Task 1. 
it's available on google you can search it okay i don't ask me for the books due to copyright reasons i don't share books anymore right so you can get that one right and uh, that will help you after that the fourth type that we have is maps they are going to give you the map of a city or a town or a college or a building one map is in the past one map is in present so you are going to write about maps you got to spot the differences for past map you will use past tense for present map you will use present perfect tense passive voice will be used a lot in maps as well and if they give you two maps one map is in present one in future expected changes so for present map you will use present simple uh present perfect sorry and for the future map you are going to use predictive language that they will build this they will construct it it would happen and all that okay now sometimes they give you maps which are both from the past tense then for one map you will use past perfect used to and for the other map you will use past simple i have made videos on all four types so to recapitulate in academic ielts writing we have four types number 1 graph with a trend number 2 comparative graph number 3 process diagram and number 4 maps and the best book is IELTS advantage writing skills unit number 7 8 and 9 now at least you know about academic writing you know the resources as well and my videos are available i've made some videos on IELTS advantage writing skills they will help you all the best guys i also teach IELTS online all over the world and on campus here in lahore if you want to be the part of my online or on campus IELTS classes My WhatsApp number is given you can contact me for that. Asad Yakub truly wishes you best of luck from this beautiful Kumrat Valley. I want to show you something. See, we've got this beautiful river. All right. All right. We've got this beautiful river and uh, we are having fun. I mean this place is more like heaven on earth. and i'm really lucky that i'm here and i'm making this video for you all the best take care bye bye allah hafiz